Hi, my name is Jodie Costa. I'm the biomechanist working with Swimming New Zealand and Paralympic swimmers uh, here in New Zealand. My main role is to look at their technique and how we can get them to move more efficiently through the water, but I also do competition analysis for them just to see what they're doing in a real race environment. So some of the swimmers are specialists in a particular stroke, so we'll obviously focus on that. And what we try and do is to analyze their technique in a training environment, probably every six to eight weeks, just so that it gives them an opportunity to work on any changes that we're suggesting and make that a habit before we then move on to new things that we'd like for them to work on. So a medley swimmer obviously has the four strokes to work on and we try and concentrate on one or two of those strokes. And even a freestyle specialist, they may be looking at their free swimming or they could be looking at their starts, turns, above water, underwater. So we do try and adapt the feedback that we give to the individuals what their weaknesses are currently so that they can be specific in moving things forward. Since I've been working with the swimmers here in New Zealand, the real focus has been on starts and turns because it's an area that we can make improvements, pretty big improvements in a short period of time. So it's been the main focus over the last 12 months. We probably don't suggest a whole change to their technique, but what we're trying to do is refine what they've been working on and to give them that positive feedback in the lead up to the Commonwealth Games and also to try and bring um, the race strategies into play. So each individual swims the race in a particular way and we've then been focusing the training on achieving those goals that they're working towards as well. So this is it's more of an opportunity to fine tune the details rather than looking at massive changes. That's normally best done when you first get back into the water after a major competition. So in the last year that I've been working with the program, probably the biggest area that we've been discussing is the area of turns and how we can make improvements there. And that's on a limited basis with the equipment that we've got available, but we're hoping to develop that in the coming year as well. Um, and the other big area that I've been working on is the race analysis software leading on from what the previous biomechanist was doing is just to try and provide more detail, uh, more robust information and provide that back to the coaches and swimmers in a more timely manner as well so that they've got that information during the competition to then make some changes before the finals so that they can hopefully make those improvements as well. I don't know any swimmer of any standard that is perfect at everything so there's always room for improvement which can be a little bit frustrating for the swimmer because they think they've done a good job and then we have to move things forward but um, yeah over the last 12 months it's been great at the competitions just to see the impact that our feedback and support staff has been having uh, from a personal point of view on the starts and turns within a competition, their pacing strategies as well and it's really good to see the swimmers going through the video and having that positive reinforcement as well so it kind of makes things nice at the end of the day to make it as if you're paying off all the work that you've been doing.